So if you checked out This American Life podcast, which I, I suggest you do, and it, you know, it's from the early you know, 2010, I, I, I believe, and I think it, it gets into the interesting issues surrounding uh, patent trolls and software patents. Now, we're going to watch a film uh, in our next unit about software patents. You know, it's a shorter film, but it talks about so software patents. And it's really just important to note that like software hasn't always been patentable or patentable as a process. In fact, uh, through, you know, the 80s primarily, you could only copyright the code for software. You couldn't copyright how it does what it, what it does. And now that's copy, uh, patentable subject matter. But what they talk about in this, this American Life podcast is like, yeah, freaking patents make it so um, it's safe to share your ideas. When you patent, file for a patent on something, you have to make it public domain. And meaning you have to make, you have to share how you do what you do. But you have a limited monopoly on that for, for 20 years. Um, so it's weird. You're, you share the idea, you tell people how it's done, uh, but you can also prevent them from using it. So you make it public domain in the fact that you make the information public, which is important because it does allow other companies to kind of develop their own ideas based upon that, which is totally legal. It just can't be, be the same. Okay. But they give some information, you know, from 2004 to 2009, uh, you know, there was a ton, a huge increase in patent lawsuits. And this has mostly to do with uh, smartphone technologies, uh, pr pr primarily a battle between Google and uh, Steve Jobs at Apple. Um, you know, he's going to go thermonuclear on, on people. But, you know, in that time, you know, uh, there has been a ton of license increase of 650 percent of licensing requests. And this is, again, because companies are patenting basic ideas around smartphones and they're they're making other people pay for access to those ideas or to use those ideas on their on their technology on their smartphones okay but what does a patent troll do now if you check this out and you learned a little bit about intellectual ventures a patent troll essentially is an entity that hoards intellectual property so they buy patents catalogs of patents maybe junk patents patents that aren't really they don't really, there's no actual real technology there. It's just kind of an idea. And they, uh, they essentially make no products. So they don't invent any new products. They don't make anything new. Uh, they simply hoard patent catalogs or intellectual properties. They don't make anything new. And they look to basically sue. Their whole business is buy patents, find people who are maybe infringing upon them, threaten them with a lawsuit, settle out of court, make money. And most of them are based in the Cayman Islands. They'll have an empty office somewhere in the United States. They particularly in intellectual ventures is in, this, in, in Texas. Okay. But the, the thing here, and they go over this in the podcast is that, you know, Hey, guess what? Patent actually has a chilling effect on innovation. Uh, patent actually slows innovation and it raises end costs for people. This is not necessarily a great thing because that's not, you know, that's not what we should really want for the world in general. But if you're a company investing a lot of money into researching and developing something, you should be able to recoup that, that investment. And most companies, in fact, uh, don't recoup their investments on, on uh, research and development because so few things they're able to get patents on and so few of those patents are actually profitable in, in the marketplace, okay? They go over in this podcast how patenting, as I said, is a resource-based activity, so you need to have money. You gotta pay to friggin' play. Um, and they talk mostly about software patents and, and like the nature and evolution of software patents. That's something that was copyrightable as code is now patentable as a process. And processes are typically different. Um, an ends to a mean, typically, you know, how do you make something out of combining things or what type of, you know, process do you use to extract oil from, you know, uh, or create 
gasoline from oil or whatever, whatever it is. Those are all patentable processes. And that logic was applied to software, to code, to algorithms. Okay. The important thing is that th they know um, is that patents, uh, they're not inventions in, in, in essence. They are ideas that are incorporated into specific inventions. Um, so they're not actually inventions themselves. You, I think the misnomer is that they're actual inventions. They're ideas for inventions. Okay. Uh, anyway, so that kind of goes over the, the This American Life podcast. You should check it out. Again, like if you're out jogging or walking or bored, <laughs> uh, I know that I'm really selling it to you, but you know, it, it's, it's actually a pretty interesting uh, listen if you can.